Hello everybody, I'm Lori Baker. And I'm Tracy Mooney. We were lucky enough to get a fresh delivery of books from CNT Publishing. It's their autumn lineup of quilting titles just in time for the holidays. We picked our favorite quilts from each book and we're going to share them with each other mm -hmm. and with you right now. This is Ombre Quilts by Jennifer Sampu. And she designs fabric, right? Yes, she does, and that's what makes her the perfect teacher to show us how to use these gorgeous ombre fabrics. And she's got a variety of patterns, all with the ombre fabric. Mm -hmm. Ombre can be sometimes a little bit difficult to use. I know I'm attracted to buying it in the store, but then I get home and I wonder, what do I do with it? Right. She makes it so easy and shows us all the techniques we need to use them in these gorgeous quilts. So do you want to see what I chose? I do. Oh, I, I love that one. I love the traditional stars, but I like how the color changes from corner to corner. Absolutely gorgeous. Do you want to see mine? I do. <laughs> okay, I chose this one. Nice. I love how she used the ombre fabric for the water in the background that just adds to the depth of the right. sea, and then I love how the whale is pieced. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. Ready for our next book? I certainly am. Hidden Treasures by Lori Lee Triplett and Kay Triplett. Mm -hmm. It's more of a coffee table mm -hmm. book. It's got gorgeous pictures and history. Fun book. <laughs> this features never before seen quilts from the Poos collection. 100 quilts in all. It's a feast of quilts, all predating the Civil War, Paper pieced, wool quilts, mm -hmm. chintz quilts, they're wonderful. So, I have a confession to make. Um, this book arrived in the office a few weeks ago and I totally nabbed it. <laughs> but, we've since gotten another <laughs> copy so we can both have a we copy. We don't have to share. <laughs> so, are you ready to show me your quilt? I am. Okay, ready? I am. One, two, three. How funny! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I chose this one? I chose this one. <laughs> we chose the same quilt. The same exact quilt. All right, so why do you like yours? I like the tradition, I like the applique around the edges, I just think it's beautiful. See, and I chose it because I was shocked that this was so old. Like, it doesn't look vintage, it looks like a current quilt it, that someone would make. It could be totally modern. Mm -hmm. Think about the gorgeous quilting oh, and all that white space. It's just beautiful. And then there's so much more to this quilt, this book than one quilt. I loved the whole section in the back oh, with yeah. all of the whole cloth quilts. It's beautiful. Just fantastic. Okay, this is Jelly Filled by Vanessa Gertzen. Oh, she's so good with patterns for pre-cuts. She had Charm School a few years ago, and that was an incredible book. And this one is too, but it's all about jelly rolls. Mm -hmm. We all impulse buy jelly rolls. I know, I do. And finding a pattern that works mm -hmm. for jelly rolls isn't as easy as you might think. Do you have a favorite pattern? Oh, I have so many. I have another confession. Um, I couldn't pick just one. <laughs> so, <laughs> for the first quilt, I loved Heartthrob just because it's so sweet. It is. My second choice was Parfait. I just love how oversized the log cabin blocks are, and I think it's just so cute. It'll come together really fast. And then finally, I love Hay Cupcake. I think that these curved pieces just add such dimension to this quilt and really make a knockout. You're right. That's a good one, isn't it? But now that's different than what I chose. I like this one, it's called Sprinkles on Top, and partly I love the name. Yes. But I also love the way there are different sizes of mm -hmm. the crosses in the whole thing. So with this collection of books, you're sure to find your next quilt. Thanks CNT Publishing, and thanks everyone for watching. Happy, Happy quilting! quilting.